Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in to my YouTube channel and today I'm going to do a practice because <clears throat> if you've been watching my videos I've spoke a lot, a lot of information and um, information, wisdom and practice is the yin yang balance so it's vitally important that we do the practice it's all good to get all this information but we need the practice um, and for a practice, I've chose a mantra and a practice called Wong Mani Ba Ma Hong. Wong Ma Ni Ba Ma Hong. It's a Buddhist practice. Um, it's also known as Om Mani Padme Hong. And this is one of the most chanted mantras of, in history. Our beloved Guan Yin, the female Buddha of compassion. Um, well, this was her contribution. She left this uh, to humanity. Now, <clears throat> when I started out with Master Shah, I briefly touched on meditation. I'd done a little bit of trying to quiet the mind. I actually did uh, some Buddhist meditations. And uh, there were stillness meditations, you know, bringing your attention to one point. I never really brought chanting into the uh, picture. And it wasn't until, this was the first book, Divine Transformation, I got from Master Shah, when I was introduced to Master Shah. And when I practiced Wong Mani Ba Ma Hong, it was the first breakthrough moment that I had. It was the first time I experienced real emptiness it was the first time I'd had a feeling uh, of uh, an expansion, a depth, an emptiness. Um, and I felt like I'd chanted it before. I, uh, it, it, was, um, it wasn't new to me. I felt like I recognized this all. Whether I've, Buddh I've practiced Buddhism in a past life, the chances are pretty strong. And this, I owe a lot to this mantra. So before we do the practice, I just want to uh, read the section of this book on what it says and the power of this mantra. What you chant is what you become. Let me explain in more detail. Everyone and everything has a soul. Every word has a soul. Everything is made of Shen Chi Jing. Shen is soul heart mind soul is message heart is the core of life mind is consciousness chi is energy jing is matter everything is made of shen chi jing wong has a soul ma has a soul ni has a soul ba has a soul ma has a soul Hong has a soul. The entire mantra, Wung Ma Ni Ba Ma Hong, has a soul. When you chant Wung Ma Ni Ba Ma Hong, you receive blessings from all of these souls and more. Millions of people throughout history have chanted Wung Ma Ni Ba Ma Hong. Millions of people continue to chant this mantra. This mantra has gathered all of the love, light, compassion, peace, purity, and more of those who have chanted it. When you chant Wong Mani Ba Ma Hong, you receive blessings from all of this. If your third eye is opened, you can see that the soul of this mantra is huge. To chant a mantra is to heal. At the same time, to chant a mantra is to make a spiritual calling. When you chant one Mani Ba Ma Hong, Guan Yin hears you and comes instantly to you. Countless Buddhas and Bodhisattvas also hear you. They too will come instantly to you. The millions and billions of souls who have chanted this mantra throughout history will come to you also. Therefore, to chant a mantra is to call and gather souls. When these great spiritual fathers and mothers come to you, 
They know exactly what you need and they will help you instantly. How much help you can receive depends on your karma. If you have no bad karma, you could receive big blessings right away. If you have little bad karma, the souls you have gathered will help you clear this karma and bless you quickly. If you have heavy bad karma, the souls you have gathered will, will still help you, but the benefits could be small or slow to come. If you have extremely heavy karma, you may not notice any benefits at all. In fact, you do receive some benefits. The blessings from the souls you have gathered will definitely clear at least part of your karma. But because your karma is extremely heavy, this may not be enough for you to feel or notice the benefits right away. But keep going. Karma is the root cause of success and failure in every aspect of life. To transform every aspect of life, you must clear your bad karma. Remember to chant from the bottom of your heart, especially ask sincerely for forgiveness from the people and the souls you and your ancestors have harmed in past lives and in this life. Here is how to practice. We'll do the practice of the book. Body power. Sit up straight. Put your left palm over your message center also known as the heart chakra in the middle of your chest and the right hand in the traditional prayer position. This is the soul light air prayer position, Master Shah says. Very powerful prayer position. This is conventional prayer, also very powerful. This is the prayer for the new light era that we're heading into. The 15,000 year era, which started on August 8th, 2003, which is the reason why there is a mass conscious awakening. This is body power, soul power. Soul power is to invoke the soul world. Dear soul, mind, body of Wong Mani Bama Hong, I love you, I honor you, I appreciate you. Please heal and make a request, whether it's physical, mental, emotional, spiritual uh, issue. Please forgive my relationship with, name a relationship with a person, um, it could be even with your business, with your bot, with your own self, your own soul. Ask for a relationship blessing. The all the people, animals, and nature that my ancestors and I have harmed in this life and past lives. I sincerely ask for your forgiveness. Please forgive my ancestors and me. Dear anyone who has harmed me in this life and in my previous lives, I offer you my total forgiveness. Dear Wong Mani Bama Hong, please bless me. I'm very grateful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mind power. Visualize rainbow light radiating in all of the souls you've called, as well as in your own soul, heart, mind and body, from head to toe, skin to bone. Now sound power. What you chant is what you become. Chant from the bottom of your heart with sincere apologies for all the mistakes that you and your ancestors have made to hurt or harm any soul. Master Shah says, sincerity and honesty moves heaven. Sincerity and honesty can bring you remarkable forgiveness. Sincerity and honesty can transform all life. So I'm going to chant this mantra for you and you can apply this yourself in your own time. You can do it now. I'm going to chant it in three different ways. Now to chant out loud vibrates the bigger spaces in the body and to chant silently vibrates the smaller spaces. They are yin yang alternation. The three ways I'm going to chant it, I have found personally that different melodies will work for each person differently okay so this is the first one and i'll only do a few minutes of each so get into the condition apply the four power techniques that you've done and this is the first chant <laughs> Wong ma ni ba ma hong. Wong ma ni ba ma hong. 
Vumani Bamahum 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 The second way to chant Vum mani ben me hong, vum mani ba ma 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 hong. Om Mani Bama Hong, 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 Om Mani Bama Hong. And the third time is to just get lost and to chant in the mantra. To close a practice, we say how, how, how. How is perfect, get well in Chinese. We say thank you, thank you, thank you. We thank sincerely all the souls that have come to help. We ask sincerely, uh, we thank sincerely all of the souls that may have forgiven us during this practice. We thank all the souls that came to practice with us. So thank you, thank you, thank you from our heart. We offer love, love you, love you, love you. And then we say gong song, gong song, gong song. Gong song means respectfully return to the souls. This is courtesy, spiritual courtesy. Master Shah goes on to say, while you chant, if your third eye is open, you could see images of your ancestors or yourself harming others in this life or previous lifetimes. You may see dark souls leave your body. You may see dark energy dissipate from your body like clouds. If you have advanced spiritual abilities, you could see Guan Yin. Our countless Buddhas and Bodhisattvas sharing their virtue, which is, uh, which is seen as spiritual flowers sharing them with you. You could also be able to see Heaven's Virtue Bank open to give you and your ancestors flowers. If you do not apologize sincerely for your mistakes, you and your ancestors could receive much less virtue. It's all about what we, it's all about what's in here. And sometimes it can take time, okay? Don't think you, you're, I'm talking from my experience. Sometimes I've struggled to get into this, condition of genuinely feeling um, sincere. It takes time. Um, it's only through experiences, and this is personal, where I've been shown, whether it's through meditation or through dreams. I've actually had experiences with dreams where I've been shown some of the things that I've done in past lives, um, which have deeply hurt me, like really, really made me be more sincere so sincerity and honesty moves heaven and we can all we can think as well about the mistakes we've made in this life i've made lots of mistakes in this life which i ask for forgiveness for daily 
Therefore, it is extremely important to apologize sincerely before you chant. This is very important teaching that you can use for all of the practices in this book for your entire life. Grab these important secrets and wisdom to benefit every aspect of life. And it just goes on to say, chanting benefits every aspect of life. A human being could have issues in many aspects of life, including physical blockages, emotional imbalances, mental imbalances, spiritual blockages, relationship challenges, financial challenges. Chanting mantras can greatly benefit all of these issues. As I have explained, to chant is to gather spiritual fathers and mothers, and especially the divine and the Tao to help transform any issue. Mantras carry soul frequency and vibration with love, forgiveness, compassion and light. Soul frequency and vibration can transform the frequency and vibration of all life, bringing in a higher frequency to the frequency and vibration of this physical reality, which I've spoke about in other videos. Love melts all blockages and transforms all life. Master Shah repeats this in every single book and I get it deeper every day. Think about it. Love, he said, these are his one sentence secrets. Love melts all blockages and transforms all life. Forgiveness brings inner peace and inner joy. Compassion boosts energy, stamina, vitality and immunity. Light heals, prevents sickness, rejuvenates, prolongs life and transforms relationships, finances as well as every aspect of life. So, you know, I've found in the last five years that the simplicity of this can go over your head. <laughs> you know, human beings think things have to be complicated, but they don't. You experience love, you give love or you receive love, it changes everything, whether it's from your children, your loved ones, your family, your parents, it doesn't matter. When we offer or receive true forgiveness, we experience inner peace and inner joy. There's a beautiful TED Talks where someone explains what he, Master Shah is saying here, how compassion boosts energy, stamina, vitality and immunity and light Light prevents sickness, rejuvenates, prolongs life and transforms uh, relationships and finances as well as uh, every aspect of life. Now, I'm going to read this one little bit because this is very important. Spiritual beings must face spiritual testing. Why? A spiritual being desires and intends to reach enlightenment. Bad karma will block the enlightenment journey. Therefore, a spiritual being who is on the enlightenment journey must face serious karma cleansing. The spiritual journey begins with the karma cleansing journey. When facing karmic issues, the purification process could be very challenging. The spiritual testing could be very heavy. Purification leads to spiritual testing. Spiritual testing leads to more purification when the tests are passed. On the spiritual journey, testing can come from many forms, in fact, any forms. The spiritual journey is not a smooth and peaceful journey. A spiritual being could face huge challenges in many aspects of life. The key wisdom is to understand why a spiritual being who is committed to the spiritual journey could have many challenges. The root cause, as always, is bad karma. All of these challenges are part of the purification process for karma cleansing. Bad karma goes against your spiritual journey. Bad karma blocks your spiritual journey. Bad karma can pull you back from the spiritual journey. To pass spiritual testing, chanting is one of the most important practices and methods for the spiritual being who wishes to move further on the spiritual journey and reach soul enlightenment and advanced soul enlightenment. Huge wisdom. Yeah, I'll finish on my own personal experience with chanting and practice. The meditation I've just done was very brief. I suggest you get in a, in a nice space at home, light a candle, light some incense. Practice this mantra. 
call on all of your spiritual fathers and mothers, divine bow. If you believe in Jesus, call on Jesus. If you believe in any Buddhas, any Taoist saints, Muhammad, wherever he waits for you, kahunas, gurus, uh, lamas, whatever, you call on them. Ask for their help, divine and Tao. Practice these mantras. Get lost in the mantra. A mantra brings in the frequency and with applying the four power techniques. And it's like working a muscle. You don't get fit from going to the gym once or twice. You have to work it. You work it and then you see the benefits. It's the same with meditation. But I promise you, the benefits are so rewarding. And one thing I've learned with meditation is the deeper I go in my meditations, I am just scratching the surface. It is endless. And it is a practice that, build, that, that, uh, that increases health and well-being. And is also a practice we can do forever. So I encourage you all to practice. Practice with one money by my home. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. I love you all. Thank you to my teacher, Master Shah. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.